Hello and welcome everyone, it's Capcan and we're looking at our Warlock Demonology Talent Tree from Dragonflight starting with Call Dreadstalkers. Uh, summon two ferocious Dreadstalkers to attack the target for 12 seconds, 20 seconds cooldown and 2 seconds cast time. Uh, two soul shards cost, so our baseline stuff. Uh, and we have as baseline uh, skills Hand of Gul'dan, oh Gul'dan, Gul'dan, uh, summon fell guards, soul stone, uh, fell fire bolt, bolt, okay uh yeah and our our mastery and demonic core uh wait a second and probably yes and probably our shadow bolt and stuff like that in baseline class abilities uh so then we have our demon bolt uh 4.5 seconds cast time send a fiery soul of fallen demon at the enemy causing 73 percent of spell power shadow flame damage generates two soul shards baseline ability as well dreadlash when your dread stalkers charge into battle their dread bite attack now hits all targets within eight yards and deals 25 percent more damage which gives us additional uh, aoe damage uh, your fell guard deals 10 percent more damage and tanks takes 10 percent less damage oh 10 percent more damage for fell guard it's uh, quite quite good uh, born of blood let's go with the left side uh, born of blood hand of Gul'dan has a 15 percent chance to generate a charge of demonic core okay uh so that's uh defensive uh, stuff uh, or not oh no demonic core is the thing that procs um, and gives you uh, free demon bolts uh, so how does it work hand of Gul'dan. oh hand of Gul'dan uh, has a 15 percent chance to generate the charge of demonic core okay so yeah while you're spending your uh, soul shards on hand of Gul'dan, you're summoning your imps, you can get additional procs of free demon bolts uh, which then will generate you soul shards instead and you will um, do everything in a rotation. Implosion is a optional uh, skill which is quite quite interesting. Uh, so demonic forces suck all of your wild imps toward the target and then cause them to violently explode dealing uh, some sp uh, 20 26% spell power, shadow flame da damage to all enemies within 8 yards. Okay. Uh, and Shadow's Bite. When your summoned Dreadstalkers fade away, they increase the damage of your Demon Bolt by 10%. Mm-hmm. They increase the damage. Okay. And what... Uh, I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, what is uptime of this buff is gonna be? So 8 seconds buff, 20 seconds cooldown, uh, 12 seconds duration. So yeah, it's... Yes, every 20 seconds you're gonna get uh, 8 second uh, buff. Almost. Okay. So not bad uh, either way. And uh, let's, oh, there's only one here ta talent that you can spend, which means that we can uh, look upon them straight up. Uh, Power Siphon instantly sacrifices up to two wild imps, generating two charges of demonic core that cause demon bolt to deal 30% additional uh, damage. Okay, so additional uh, cooldown, 30 seconds cooldown for you. Uh, sacrificing imps, gaining uh, demonic cores, gaining more burst damage in a short uh, period of time. All right, so more resource. Uh, the chance of receiving a demonic core from a wild imp is increased by 5% or 10% when imploded. Mm, all right, so more uh, more imp gen more soul shards generation through demon bolts through implosions. Uh, then we have Grim Inquisitor's Dread Calling. Each soul shard spent on Hand of Gul'dan uh, increases the damage of your next call Dreadstalkers by 4%. Uh, okay, so the more okay, so yeah, the more you spend on hands of Gul'dan, the more you're gonna get uh, call called the Red Stalker increased damage. But it doesn't say that it stacks each soul shard spent. Uh, yeah, there there is no mentioning of the cap of the stacks themselves, but probably there should be some cap at least. Uh, okay, so yeah, it will just be an additional damage. I guess Bale Spider's Burning Core. Shadow Bolt increases the damage of your Demon Bolt. 
by 7% stacking up to four times last 20 seconds uh, so that's if you're if you don't really have enough procs of demon bolts if you have to fill your rotation with your shadow bolt and you want uh, quite a little bit more damage from using that skill you can get it through the uh, increasing uh, damage of the demon bolt all right all right so just uh, mostly uh, generation of your resources source uh, some damage increases all right um, choose one summon vile fiend one soul shard two seconds cast uh, 45 seconds cooldown summon a vile fiend to fight uh, for you for the next 15 seconds or soul strike oh uh, command your fell guard to strike into the soul for of its enemy shadow damage and generate one soul shard uh, so one uh, skill is a spender with 45 seconds cooldown which means more uh, more da more damage on that cooldown uh, uh, yes, and uh, Soul Strike is just good. Um, it at least it was a pretty good skill that helps you generate soul shards. Um, okay, pretty interesting that you have to choose between two of these. Uh, Bile Scourge Bombers, two soul shards, instant cast, thirty seconds cooldown. Tear open a portal to the Nether above the target location, which from which several uh, Bile Scourge will pour out uh, off and crash into the ground over six seconds, dealing uh, some shadow damage to all enemies within eight yards. So additional AOE cooldown spender uh, with thirty seconds cooldown uh, or demonic strength, uh, instant one minute cooldown. Infuse your Felgard with demonic strength and command it to charge your target and unleash a fire fellstorm that will deal 400% increased damage so demonic strength for strength was was pretty pretty uh powerful talent before i don't know how these bile scorch bombers are gonna uh do but yeah demonic strength is probably still gonna be pretty good uh, carnivorous stalkers your dread stalkers attacks have a chance 10 percent chance to trigger an additional dread bite okay so like additional uh, probably skill proc additional damage uh, then we have our center part of the three inner demons so you you passively summon a wild imp to fight for you for every 12 seconds and have a five percent chance to also summon an additional demon to fight for you for 15 seconds so uh, and here we have 10% chance instead of 5% yeah so this uh, talent is more of a stylistic uh, talent that gives you additional um, additional demons uh, it, it makes you a little bit better with your uh, potential soul shard generation and AOE damage uh, pretty cool a demonic calling uh, shadow bolt uh, or demon bolt uh, and demon bolt have uh, has a 10 percent chance to make your next call red stalker cost to fewer soul shards and have no cast time so that's the the thing that we already had uh, we already can have some procs of the of the cold red stalker dread stalkers when it becomes uh, instant and doesn't really take uh, takes your spell soul shards away from you uh, doom inflicts impending doom upon the target causing 175 percent of spell power shadow damage over 20 seconds doom damage generates one soul shard uh, so doom was um, i don't even i didn't even really thought that they will give it us uh, as a stuff that you can take uh, optionally pretty interesting that like doom is in the demonology tree as well uh, imp gang boss summoning a wild imp has a five percent chance to summon an a imp gang boss instead an imp gang boss deals 20 percent additional damage when imploded an imp gang boss will summon a wild wimp imp when imploded an imp uh, gang boss will summon a wild imp okay so it's just straight up uh, better for your aoe rotation you gain additional imps you gain additional damage from your uh, imp generation uh, and hunt hands of gul'dan gul'dan fuck gul'dans uh, all right interesting uh, doom deals three percent increased damage for each demon pet you, uh, you have active yeah so that's uh, something similar we had uh, too uh, and 
if I recall correctly. Uh, rip through the portal. The cold dread stalkers has a 50% chance to summon an additional dread stalker. Uh, again, passive damage increase. Uh, not really that much of dependables, just uh, an additional 100% chance if you're going hard into this talent to call an additional dread stalker. Uh, now, right part of the tree. After Fell Commando. Uh, so, from the shadows, so Dreadbite causes the target to take 20% additional Shadow Flame damage from you for the next uh, 12 seconds. Mm -hmm. So, well, that means that it's very good uh, single target talent. And here there was more resource generation and AoE damage, by the way. Uh, Fell and Steel, Fell Storm and Dreadbite uh, deal 20% additional damage. Uh, Fellstorm and Dreadbite, okay. Um, Fellmiter, this is the cooldown of Fellstorm by 10 seconds. Man, I forgot a little bit. My mind is is giving me a hard time uh, for me to Fellstorm. Let's look here. Let's seek for this fell storm. Is that something? Uh, Shadow Ball, Dreadsteed, Soul Shards, Fell Storm. Man, I'm a little bit so. Here we have our Dreadstalkers, here we have Fell Guard, Demonic Strength. Um, Bombers is not the right stuff, Demon Bolt, uh, Soul Strike, uh, Fellstorm and Dread by deal additional damage, reduces the cooldown of Fellstorm by 10 seconds, Implosion is not Fellstorm, uh, shit, yeah, it's just my mind uh, that gives me a hard time of remembering what the hell Fellstorm is, maybe, uh, oh man, I should just go further. A Grimoire Felguard summons a Felguard who attacks the target for 6 17 seconds that deal 25% increased damage. The Felguard will stun their target when summoned, so definitely pretty cool for the PvP. Additional burst, one soul shard cost, instant cast, and two minutes cooldown. Uh, yes, so for your big DPS windows, as you're probably definitely gonna take this stuff, and it's uh, yeah, it's uh, very heavily single target focused stuff. And Stun, stun definitely gives you a, a vibe of using uh, using it in PvP. Fell Thunder. Each time Fell Storm deals damage, it increases the damage the target takes from you and your pets by two percent for eight seconds up to ten percent. Man, it's either that there are a new spell that they don't really have here because there are no Fell Storm currently, as I can see. And there are no fell storm here as well. So, and I don't really like. Wait a second. Uh, currently, with demonology, you have your hand of Gul'dan. By the way, uh, it it is here, right? Yes. So, it calls down a, a demonic meteor full of wild imps, which burst forth to target uh, to to attack the target. Shadow flame to impact all to all damage. So yes, you have your hand of Gul'dan as your AOE damage. Then you have your implosion as your AOE damage. Um, maybe you can like, yeah, you can get these uh, additional talents for your Dreadstalkers to deal additional AoE damage. But for the life of me, I can't really, uh, I can't really remember anything called Fellstorm. And that's definitely, so Fellstorm is definitely not something from a currently that Affliction has, and some de definitely not something that, uh, that the, like, um, uh, Destruction has, because uh, Destruction has Reign of Fire, or Cataclysm, uh, that is talent. So yeah, it's probably a new skill, which is definitely not optional, but you still don't really see it here. Either it's uh, that, or it's maybe like additional part of the other skill that I've missed completely. And I can't really find it anywhere here. So Fellstorm... If, if that's some ability guillotine, Reign of Tyranny, Wilfred Sigil of Superior Summoning, 
nether portal summoning demonic yeah so i don't really know what this talent what this skill does uh which means that i'm not really gonna co uh, comment on any of the talents that are um combined with it uh, demonic meteor hand of gul'dan deals five percent additional damage and has a five percent chance per soul shard spent for refunding a soul shard oh Okay, so additional, uh, yeah, that's for more for your uh, sustainable, su sustained damage, prolonged damage with additional uh, low chance, but still chance to save your soul shards, deal additional damage with hand of Gul'dan. Uh, Gul'dan, man, Gul'dan. Uh, Houndmaster Gambit, uh, Shadow Bolt and Demon Bolt have a 3% uh, chance to reset the cooldown of Dreadstalk, of Call of Dreadstalkers. To be honest, currently these three reminds me a lot of, of, of uh, Beastmaster like so much just increases or uh, cooldown resets uh, and not really that much of a choices for your rotation and changing how would you perform it so Beast Mastery talents, uh, talent tree has pretty uh, simple and straightforward. Uh, it's it has choices, but those choices are uh, mostly numerical. So you really want to like calculate which uh, part, uh, which like path is gonna be the most optimal numerically, and then you're gonna use it. You can't really change your playstyle with not using some skills, using other skills, uh, gaining some additional skills. There. Are are more emphasis on just like uh, do you want uh, this skill to proc more or do you want this skill to proc more where i mean a proc is a cooldown reset and you're spamming some stuff in a very uh, logical very simple rotation out of like three four skills and there are not much uh, choice uh, when it comes to your aoe or not aoe and like yeah like there's just more simplicity to it uh, and I'm getting some kind of a vibe uh, similar to Beastmaster, uh, Beastmaster Hunter over here as well. Maybe it's just pet uh, subclasses that you can't really do in any other possible way. I don't really know. Rip through the portal. Already saw that. Okay, let's go with the bottom part. Uh, so Nether portal. Uh, tear a open a portal to the twisted Nether for 15 seconds every time you spend soul shards. You will also command demons from the Nether to come out and fight for you. We currently already have this stuff. Three minutes cooldown, 1.5 seconds cast, uh, one soul shard cost. So it's pretty massive uh, damage cooldown, uh, but it's uh, a big one uh, in terms of the duration uh, of cooldown. Uh, when uh, Nether portal summons a demon it has a 15% chance to summon an additional demon holy shit how much demons can you summon there are quite a lot of talents that give you additional demons that can like stay or be summoned and stuff like that it's pretty cool uh, okay additional additional chance to get more demons so when nether portal ends you summon a pit lord that gains power based on how many demons you summoned up to 20 demons while nether portal was active the pit lord lasts for 10 seconds so like extra boss uh, uh, demon that you're getting after the uh, after the nether portal ends yes so pretty interesting as well um, again more of a uh, like very burst uh, oriented window dps window where you want to use like everything that you have uh, seems pretty interesting for pvp as well uh, when your wild uh, imps cast cast firebolt, you gain an uh, application of stolen power. After you reach 100 applications, your next demon bolt deals 50% increased damage, or your next shadow bolt deals 100% damage. When your imps oh, when your imps uh, wild imps cast for uh, firebolt. Oh, okay. Uh, quite interesting. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, more emphasis on you did uh, on your damage from the demon bolt. Uh, with like imps that you can have and th that yeah that you will have uh, okay okay numerically I don't really know how how good of the of a talent that is uh, and definitely looks like single target oriented sacrifice souls uh, shadow bolt and demon bolt deal two percent additional damage per demon you have summoned summoned 
Oh, so again, more emphasis on you having tons of demons and dealing additional damage for that. Shadow Bolt and Demon Bolt. Again, single target spells. So yeah, like uh, this part of the tree is definitely for you to summon a lots, a lots of demons and then like burst your opponent down. Um, uh, demonic summon demonic tyrant um, summons a demonic tyrant to increase the duration of all your current lesser demons by 15 seconds and increase the damage of all your other uh, demons by 15% while damaging your target generates probably not zero soul shards or maybe it's because that's a talent two seconds cast 1.5 minutes cooldown uh, and uh, if I'm if I'm correct, we have him baseline currently. So yeah, it's just for you to prolong your demon army to give you additional damage, uh, way less of a cooldown than Nether Portal in terms of the duration of the cooldown itself. Man, duration of the cooldown itself, duration of the cooldown of the spell. Yeah, uh, soulbound tier tyrant. So, uh, summoning your demonic tyrant instantly generates three soul shards and probably five. Then, uh, and then we have here choose one. Reign of tyranny. Active wild imps grant one stack of demonic servitude. Active uh, active. Greater Demons uh, grant 2 stack of Demonic Servitude. Demonic Tyrant deals 3% additional damage uh, for each stack of Demonic Servitude active at the time of his summon. So uh, more damage uh, for your Demonic Tyrant cooldown. Or Wilfred Sigil of Superior Summoning. Every soul shard you spend reduces the cooldown of uh, Summon Infernal by 1.5 seconds. We have summoning infernal. Summon infernal is baseline or what? Man, it's a little yeah. Uh, should have I should like test uh, all this in the game itself because with with warlock it appears uh, it's quite appear apparent that uh, I don't really know uh, how much skills do we have additionally. <laughs> Okay, um, quite interesting. Uh, don't really know how good is that or how bad is that, but it's pretty cool that we have Infernals. This is the cooldown of Summon Infernal and we can get them way more often. Uh, rip through, maybe in the class, but... Summon Sayyad, some Subjugate Demon, Command Demon, Ritual... Uh, I doubt it that it's... It, all glyphs. All right, so let's just finish the talent tree itself. Uh, enter an armaments. Uh, your Felguard deals 20% more damage. Soul Strike now deals 25% of its damage to nearby enemies. Holy shit! That's a very, very good uh, addition to the uh, to the uh, Soul Strike itself. Uh, the expendable, so that we have already saw. No, no. Hand of Gul'dan has a 5% chance to cast a second time on your target for free. Oh, that's very good for AOE. Both the the skill itself deals AOE damage and your imps you can have uh, additional imps which then you can go with uh, implosion and you will deal additional damage you will gather probably additional demon bolt uh, procs and then you will get additional soul shards and you can like uh, cycle it cycle it more so 10% chance okay pretty interesting the expendables when your wild imps expire or die, your other demons are inspired and gain 1% additional damage second up to 10 times. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> Why with imps? Yeah, a pretty funny uh, talent by itself. Probably is gonna be a uh, very good damage increase. Um, command Aura. Aura. While your Felguard is active, your wild imps and dead and dread stalkers deal 10% additional damage. So it just means that you have to uh, be with your Felguard. Okay, and we have our Felguard. Like we're we're got definitely gonna use our Felguard. Your wild imps and red stalkers deal ten percent. So yeah, it's just twenty percent additional damage for wild imps and red stalkers. Mm like guillotine instant 45 seconds cooldown your felguard hurls his axe towards the target location erupting when it lands and dealing uh, shadow flame damage for every one second for eight seconds to nearby enemies while unarmed your felguard basic attacks deal damage to all nearby enemies and attacks 50 percent faster 
So that's definitely M plus talent. Both this and this, Wild Imps uh, and uh, this Guillotine, yeah, 45 seconds cooldown, that's so good for M plus with additional AoE damage. Yeah, just like straight up. So pretty interesting, I'm uh, a little bit sorry that I don't really know everything that uh, goes around with the class itself because apparently some skills that, yeah, uh, they are absent from the lists um, down in the wow wowhead and I probably need to read about them somewhere else. Um, thank you for watching, hope you're doing well, goodbye.